You know, in my field, we say that if you want to know what's going to happen in the world in the next 30 years uh, from a climate perspective, you need to look no further than the polar regions uh, because they display the fastest and most obvious signs of transformation. My name is uh, Sebastian Copeland. I am uh, a photographer and a polar explorer. And we are in um, northern Greenland, in the fjords near uh, Kanak, in the very northern part, 77 degrees latitude north. I do listen to the elders a lot. I have also experienced very cold time in, in my childhood where the ice was uh, two meters that uh, if you have to dig a hole on the ice and trying to catch fish, you have to make a, a kind of a stair down and you have to shoot in the end to open the waters. So now it's uh, under one meter. And that confuses a little bit, you know, both this ultra polarized environment that we're in where some people are looking for great reasons to deny this trend, but it is incontrovertible. We see it. And locally for hunters uh, who rely on a cycle, on a steady cycle, as we've seen, especially in Greenland, this is one of the last region in the world, in fact, the last authentic region in the world where hunters rely inherently on dogs for uh, their hunting to travel. And if there's less sea ice because the freeze cycle is shorter. Uh, that means that their ability to hunt and to secure calories for the warmer period is, is just more challenging. You need to look no further than the polar regions because they're the canary in the coal mine. They um, announce transformations uh, that are taking place that maybe may not be as apparent as melting snow.